Hello, and thank you so much for logging on to WPTZ.com. I'm Vanessa Mishania with today's headlines. A proposed Vermont gun bill, S31, would expand criminal background checks. The bill would make it a state crime for a violent felon to have a gun. Also, Vermonters who are seen as a public safety threat would be included in the National Background Check Database. Opponents say it's unnecessary due to Vermont's low rate of violent crimes. Those for the bill say they fear the safety of the community is at risk without change. The Vermont Gas Pipeline Expansion Project will not reach Ticonderoga as originally planned. Cost increases have forced it to stop at Middlebury. Phase 1 connecting Colchester to Middlebury is already underway. But phase 2 running from Middlebury to Ticonderoga's International Paper Mill just became too expensive. CEO Don Rendall says projected costs went from $75 million to $105 million. On the crime beat now, a 17-year-old Vermont girl has pleaded not guilty to seriously injuring her infant son by shaking him. Desiree George of South Burlington is being held on bail. Police say the infant was in critical condition Tuesday at the University of Vermont Medical Center. The Chittenden Unit for Special Investigation says it received a report of an unresponsive child that had been taken to the hospital Monday. In New Hampshire, a jury has yet to reach a decision in the trial of a Vermont man charged with killing his wife on the day she filed for divorce. The Sullivan County jury of seven women, five men, went home Tuesday after a full day of deliberating. Prosecutors say the evidence shows James Robarge beat 42-year-old Kelly Robarge to death in June 2013. To food news now, Wayne's Swirl. You heard me right. Vermont's own Ben & Jerry's has released the newest SNL ice cream batch, and it is excellent. According to Ben & Jerry's website, the latest flavor is for the two hardest rocking residents of Aurora, Illinois, Wayne Campbell and Garth Algar. It's dark caramel and vanilla ice creams with caramel and fudge swirls. It's available now at your local soup shop. Thanks again for stopping by WPTZ.com. And catch us on air tonight starting at 5 p.m. on WPTZ News Channel 5. Have a great rest of your day.